Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how I draw this cat with colored pencils and a solvent for blending. Since this is a small drawing, I am not worried about the realism much. But anyway, I ended up in a quite realistic and cute looking cat. Usually I am starting with the eyes. I am using a black pencil to outline the darkest areas, which are the pupils and the areas around the eyes. As I said, the drawing is really small, so it's impossible to draw all the little details. I just need to show the color volume. I'm using yellow and green pencils for the base colors and dark and indigo blue for the shadows. Now I am creating a base layer of the fur with the dark brown pencil. I am outlining the shape of the cut and building up the base color layer. I always keep my pencil sharp and also I follow the direction of the fur. For the nose I am using a light pink and dark red pencil. On the first layer I don't worry about the details much, but the right color volume. So I am trying to put all the shadows and the lights to create the correct contrast. Exactly this will make the cat look realistic. So now I am filling all the other colors. I am focusing on building up enough pigment on each area. Even the areas which are quite light, I still want to make sure that I build up enough of color pencils. For the light areas, I am using cream pencil. And at the main base color, I am using burnt orange. I draw with medium pressure and draw with short strokes in the direction as the fur goes. Also, I'm using some green and terracotta pencil for the base tone. Uh, then I add different tones of brown for the shadows. And for the darkest areas I'm using black pencil. I don't use black pencil on its own, just mixing with other colors. Now I am cover the cat with light orange color. Usually I don't use such colors in animal drawing as it gives some unnatural look, but this time I wanted to add some brightness to the cat. The balcony is really easy to draw. The railings are almost black, so mostly I use black pencil. And for the light reflection I am using cool grey tones and also some of white. Thank you. 
So here I am starting to work on the bottom part of the kite body. First I outline the shape of the body and determine where the paw and the tail are. And then I am building up the base layer of shading. I am using same colors like burnt sienna, sanguine and terracotta for the base and brown tones such as burnt sienna and walnut brown for the shadows. As the bottom part is darker, I use more of brown tones. So now I am starting to blend the pencils up. I am using the watercolor brush and zest it pencil blender. I am starting with the lightest areas and always follow the direction of the fur. Now we can see that the drawing looks more like painting. This is what I especially love with working solvent. Then I left it for 20 minutes to make the solvent dry. Now I am starting the second layer with color pencils. On this layer I just add details such as individual hairs, light reflection and the darkest shadows. I am using same colors and for the lightest part I use white luminance pencil. And I am just creating all of the fur texture. So that is the technique I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed my tutorial. If you did, subscribe my channel and I'll see you in the next video.